Welcome back to What Are Nibs with General Disturbance. This is an Object 277. It's a Tier 10 Soviet heavy tank. It's located on the south spawn of Ensk Encounter and it's under the command of Jiffy of Otter. Now, you may have seen Jeffy before. He's been in quite a few of our replays. Normally, he teams up with uh, Arpenheimer, and so you might have seen him uh, in one of those replays. But we're going to start a new playlist for him because we've got a few of his replays to show. And game started. Now, he's got two marks of excellence on this tank, and this tank, although it's a heavy tank, is more correctly described as probably a heavy medium because or medium heavy because it's actually quite nimble it's got a 13 centimeter gun with 490 alpha very good penetration for its class but it does suffer from fairly weak armor in some aspects and it's a very good target for arty because it's very very long and this heavy tank was never actually built by the soviets because they couldn't see any technical advantages over the existing 270 Oh, well, yeah, that just goes to prove that it's a good target for Artie because the FB3805 just fired at him and hit his tracks. Okay, that Jaegeru always headed this way. Yeah, probably better to uh, retreat a little. Let's see if we can get around into his side. Is it going to pop out? No. Ah, now that indicates to me that he's probably engaged in the yard and he's probably engaging that Lurva and T-44. He might be distracted long enough for us to sneak up alongside him, but there is a E3 in the railway tracks. Now he would spot us coming, trying to get a shot on that EBR, didn't work. Reloads quite long, about 12 seconds, but there again, it is a 13 centimeter gun, so you have to remember it's almost the same size as some Arties. Now we can see the Jaeger, we see where he is, and all oh, pops our rear out, and yeah, don't do that too often, otherwise, you will get your rear perforated. And here comes that uh, E3. Now he's a turret that's tank destroyer, so he can't turn around. Which means that we can shoot into his side if he comes through, or shoot underneath the railway wagons. So he's in a bit of a pickle at the moment. And yes, we got one right underneath the railway wagons. It's a good trick that I've seen Oppenheimer do as well. Just wait for the enemy to move around there, and another one goes under. Now we did get round in the tracks there, but he's got a long reload, so now we can go to town on his lower plate. Oh, no, we didn't get that one through. And that was a heat round as well. Well, we've decided to move up. And I think we're going to engage this Jaeger because he's low on health now. And there's an IS-7. We can get him in the side. Put one into the side of the Jaeger, get behind him. Now we can finish him off. He stays where he is. He's toast. And he's gone. Okay, well, the Lorraine is not going to be much of a fight. He's tier 8. This is tier 10, Sunshine. You're in the wrong tank. You you came to a gunfight with a knife and it's not going to work. Okay, but we don't want to fire a heat round at that because it would explode on that uh, fence. And it did. Oh, took a round from the IS-7. 156, though. It's not a lot. And we put 529 into him by return. And I think we're going to get around these wagons before he can return fire. Oh, no, we didn't. But we're going to shoot into his ass anyway. He offered us his ass and he's got ours. Oh, taking it around from the side from that M103. We don't want to do that too often. One into his lower plate, please. Oh, no, it didn't go in. Okay, well, the IS-7's distracted. So we'll just come around the corner and say, Hello, do you remember us? And we'll just get alongside him now. And oh, he's gone. Well, we're one tank down on the enemy. We've still got that 103 to deal with. The enemy's capping. Okay, two shots at least in the M103. Yep. Okay, we've got some teammates with us. The griddle will probably finish him off. He's got much uh, much much more powerful gun. 
and there's an object 257 down the other end. In fact, the enemy seem to trying to guard their cap, or guard the cap that they've, uh, they're in. T32, well, he's not going to be much of a fight, even though he's got a lot of hit points. You're not going to be able to survive against this tank. No, you're gone. IS-6 is next. Again, he's not much of a match for a, a 277. He hasn't got the penetration this tank has with standard ammo. You see, just standard AP is enough to go through his lower plate. Yep. In fact, that was a good one because it tracked him at the same time. Got it through a drive wheel. Oh, we did get a pet round into us. Now, that's surprising. Here we go. And he's gone. Now, 257. I'd rather go for the Lerva. Lerva's only got a 105mm gun. 257's going to be a little more difficult. Plus, oh, there's the Amex. Oh, how did we miss him? Well, 257's taken the opportunity to come around the corner. But he's also providing us with armor from the Lerva. One from the lower plate. Yes, easy one. Easy meat. Now, we're using this wreck for creatively. One more in the Lerva. Yeah, he's gone. Now, use the wreck of the Lerva against the 257. Lovely done. This is the sort of tactics that you need to use. Oh, difficult shot. Yeah, I should go for the 257. <laughs> oh, he still gets around into that 1390. Okay, he's fixed his tracks. Now, finishing off that 257 is going to take a few more rounds. Puts one through. It's got good penetration, as I said, on the standard rounds on this tank. It's just a bit long. That's the only problem. A bit of a long tank. It's also got a nice rounded front armor. If you notice, the eggshell type armor on the front. Okay, wait for the 257 to make the mistake of poking out. Oh, and here comes that 1390 again. And this time round, we do get him. So, only one remaining. We've already got 7.1k of damage. And we're going to hit there. 495, but we were tracked. We just have to wait now because our repair kit's on cooldown. Okay, fixed. He's a two shot. One in, one more, and he's gone. He's not going to be able to kill us. Go for it. He's backing away. He knows it's the end. That's it. Game over. Well done, Jiffy. Let's have a look at the end of battle stats. Where's the nice tanker for Jiffy in the Object 277? He managed to get a Shellproof, Duelist, Fire for Effect, and a Bruiser out of the minor medals. But out of the epic ones, he picked up a High Calibre, a Top Gun, and a Steel Wall. And he certainly earned them. He did the most damage in the battle. He got at least six kills, and he got the Steel Wall as well, because he received the most damage, or blocked the most damage in that game. At least 11 hits. And his win eight for the game was 10,657, which is super unicum standard. So let's have a look at team score. Top of the table, 1, 8,196 hit points at the end. He took all the remaining damage of that 257 to claim the victory. Uh, the highest number of kills, six. Uh, the next highest number only had half that was the Striv 103B, uh, the Jaegeru and the Lerva all had three kills apiece. And when it came to base XP, yes, he's got the highest again, 1,301. 1,153 for the T44 and 723 for the Striv. He fired 28 rounds in that game. Got 22 direct hits, 20 penetrations. It's good penetration on this gun. As I keep saying, you know, standard ammo, you can really do a lot of damage. But you really ought to be... I think you sometimes you need to be a little more careful about firing heat rounds. Because obviously if it hits a fence or something like that, pre-detonate, you might end up uh, missing out. Uh, damage of 8,196 hit points, uh, of which um, all of it was at close range. He received 18 hits from the enemy, only two of them penetrated, 13 non-penetrations, and four hits as a result of splash damage. A lot of those hits actually did hit the tracks, and uh, it does have that sort of like V-shaped hull, which is one of the things that actually stops the enemy from, enemy from getting good penetrations, because if they aim for the tracks or aim for the body, they actually get uh, a deflection, and the shell might not actually go through. But he blocked damage of 3,980 hit points, and that's on a tank, which has actually got a fairly low hit pool. Uh, he spotted one enemy vehicle, damaged nine of the enemy, killed six of them, and did damage assistance of 450 hit points in that game. 
on a premium account, it shows that he didn't earn anything at all, but that's because there's an error in the replay site. It's showing here 69,463 credits, and after repair, ammunition, respy, and consumables, and he did use a fair amount of uh, premium um, uh, premium ammo, the heat rounds, so he actually ended up with a small loss, 46,061 credits. That's not a small loss, that's quite a big loss actually. But he did receive seven, seven bonds for getting the awards, because uh, it was at tier 10, and 1,301 XP, and there was no multipliers, so that's all he took away. So a very nice 8k carry there by Jiffy of Otter. If you enjoyed that replay, please give this video a like and do subscribe to our channel. Hit the notification button so you don't miss any good replays like this. Thanks for watching.